New details are emerging about the slow police response to the mass shooting at a school in Uvalde, Texas. Investigators say the school police chief, who was said to be leading the response, was not carrying a radio at the time of the attack. This latest revelation comes as three more victims of the attack were laid to rest Friday and with pressure mounting from Democrats and gun reform advocates that Congress enact new gun laws. A bipartisan group of senators has intensified talks behind the scenes this week, hoping to find common ground. But expectations are low for any significant changes. Christina Ruffini is at the White House with the latest on this. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Well, as the sun set here in Washington yesterday, the White House lit up orange in honor of National Gun Violence Awareness Day and Wear Orange Weekend. But the country is hyper aware of the consequences of gun violence. The question remains, what, if anything, are lawmakers going to do about it? From Brooklyn, New York. It's crazy how us children see the problem with gun violence, but yet adults stand by and do nothing when adults have the more, more power. To Long Beach, California and suburban Maryland. Keep our school safe! Students walked out of class to demand action on gun violence. The people who run this country don't seem to care about us. Just do something. For God's sake, do something. After making a prime time plea to Congress Thursday night, President Biden said yesterday he's closely tracking Senate negotiations. And uh, I've been constantly briefed. I'll do what I can to try to see if we have some real progress. On the table, raising the age of purchase for salt style weapons, increasing school safety and bolstering red flag laws. But there's Republican resistance to some of the proposals. Hopefully we can find a way to come together and make some progress on this horrendous problem, consistent with our Constitution and with our values. And with continued calls for congressional action from the White House to the schoolhouse. Now is the time for my Republican colleagues to put up or shut up. It's that simple. Even the vice president said Friday she's not overly optimistic. But Sandy Hook happened, nothing happened. But. I, you know, I, I do believe that people can learn and I, I do believe that people can revisit an issue like this and perhaps have a change of heart and mind. Now, the House Judiciary Committee did manage to advance a more strict gun control reform bill, one that has virtually no chance in the Senate. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said if the negotiators seem close to a deal, he's going to give them the time they need to get there. If not, he wants everyone on the record on these issues and could hold a vote as soon as next week. Dana. Those schoolhouse voices may not be able to vote yet, Christina, but hard to not hear the words that they are saying. Thank you.